Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Kristen Ropp. I'm the general manager of U.S. Bank Arena and the Cincinnati Cyclones. I'd like to welcome you all here today as we enter into the next chapter in the Cyclones history books. And for that great news, I get to introduce the president of the Cincinnati Cyclones, Mr. Ray Harris. Thanks, Kristen. Um, over the last uh, seven years uh, that we've had the team, um, we've developed a pretty good tradition here in Cincinnati uh, for the Cyclones. We've developed a great organization and, uh, and with that there always comes some change. Uh, even though we have uh, great employees, sometimes they move on, uh, which is what happened with uh, Jared Scaldi, uh, moved on to uh, another coaching position in the AHL and uh, we're happy for him and we hope he does well. Um, but. Uh, the, the job of a good organization is to continue and make the right decisions to replace those people with quality uh, people of character. And we spent a lot of time um, interviewing a bunch of people. Uh, there were a lot of people that were interested in the head coaching job for the Cincinnati Cyclones, and that was wonderful. Um, and we think that we've uh, come up with somebody that actually um, embodies the character that the organization wants to, wants to put forth to the public. Uh, and, and represent the city of Cincinnati. Uh, that person is Ben Simon. Ben um, has been uh, a professional hockey player for 11 years. He was with the Atlanta Thrashers, um, Columbus Blue Jackets. He uh, played 81 games in the NHL. Uh, the last uh, couple of years, he was the assistant coach for the AHL um, Rockford Ice Hawks. And, uh, did a great job there. His coach had nothing but uh, glowing remarks uh, on his work ethic and, and how he uh, how he played with or uh, coached the team and uh, and taught the players. Um, we've had great uh, uh, great discussions. I think Ben represents uh, everything that we want uh, this organization to uh, to do. He wants to win. He works hard, um, and I think he's going to do a great job for us. Uh, ben happens to be the first uh, Ohio native that we're going to have as a head coach here, uh, Shaker Heights. Uh, so we're bringing it back home to a certain extent. Um, graduated from Notre Dame in 2000, uh, so he's uh, a fighting Irishman too. Uh, hopefully uh, that, uh, that attitude comes through on the team. Um, the last um, the last thing I'll tell you uh, before uh, we we get going. He was he was actually a uh, a member of uh, a couple of championship teams, uh, Turner Cup uh, in uh, in the Orlando Solar Bears organization, um, and that happened to be the same team that uh, Jared Scaldi and, and uh, Chuck Weber were also members of when they won the championship. So hopefully those all those things work together for us. Um, they put together a good group there, and hopefully we can we can replicate that here. Um, without uh, Without much further ado, uh, I'd like to introduce to you the next head coach uh, for the Cincinnati Cyclones, Ben Simon. Thank you guys for uh, showing up. I'm excited. I, uh, Ray said coming home a bit. It's not quite home, but it's, uh, it's good to be back in Ohio, and uh, we're really looking forward to the opportunity here. Uh, I'd like to thank Ray Harris Kristen Ropp for, uh, for giving me this opportunity to, to uh, become a member of the Cyclones family. And uh, going through this process, it was, uh, it always came back to, to the family atmosphere. The teams I played for, coached with, the successful teams I played for or been involved with have always had a family atmosphere, a family dynamic. And I think that's, that's going to be a, a culture that I'd like to cultivate here moving forward between players, staff, the community, and uh, and go forward from there. I'd like to thank my wife, Beth. She couldn't be here today, but uh, her support through the years as a, as a player and a coach, uh, her sacrifices she's, she's made to allow me to chase my dream is, uh, is something that I'll never be able to repay her, so thank you. Uh, Jared Scaldi and Chuck Webb, I'd like to thank them. Through uh, my process and doing my due diligence, they had nothing but good things to say about their experiences here. Uh, the people involved with this organization, so it made my decision pretty easy. Uh, they're very good coaches, obviously, from their time here, but uh, I'm sure a lot of you can attest that uh, 
they're they're even better people and they're uh, very good friends of mine I've known them for a long time and I hope to uh, to be able to follow in their footsteps with the amount of success they had as coaches at this level uh, I'd like to thank the Chicago Blackhawks for giving me two years of an unbelievable experience uh, in their organization in the Rockford Icehogs uh, especially this last year it was a lot of fun to be part of the uh, the Stanley Cup run to an extent it was a lot of fun to be involved with that uh, I understand the history of success and the tradition of winning here, and I think that is uh, that's huge for any team at any level. And I think that uh, to an extent, you do have to develop the players. I'm looking forward to working with uh, uh, Florida and uh, excuse me Nashville to to develop their players, and I look forward to doing it in a winning environment. So I think as a player, you only get better and uh, you develop quicker in a winning environment. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to continuing on the. Uh, the, the path that is already kind of the foundation that's already in place and uh, looking to kind of put my own stamp on it as well. Uh, as a coach, and I haven't talked to a lot of the players yet that have been signed, but uh, I will reach out to them the next little bit. But as a coach, I'd like to think that I'm a, I'm a fair coach. I'd like to believe that I demand a lot of hard work out of my players. But one of the things that I think I've been able to do is I've always been able to put myself in their shoes. I, I was a player for many years and to be able to understand where they're coming from, the lifestyles and, and the demand that comes with their job, I think has been able to uh, develop those relationships that you have to have as a player between a player and a coach. Uh, I'm excited to work with, with Macker, Matt McDonald. He, uh, he uh, worked with Jared Scaldi last year and uh, you ask any head coach and Jared Scaldi uh, was the head coach, uh, coach of the year and uh, behind every uh, good head coach is an even better assistant. So. I'm looking forward to working uh, with Matt and getting to know his family, his wife Erin and his daughter Hazel. And uh, I've got two babysitters lined up for him already. So uh, we're looking forward to, to getting to work. There's a lot to do, but uh, I'm very excited and thankful for the opportunity here. I'm looking forward to get to know everyone and uh, I'm ready to get to work. So thank you very much for coming and uh, we'll see you on the ice. Are there any questions for Coach Simon at this time? Yeah. What are some of the key characteristics that you look for in uh, players that you will be coaching? I, I think the first thing in a player is you find a, a good a high level of, uh, of character. I want a player that works hard, but I also want a player that's committed, it's passionate about, about winning, it's passionate about the process, that, that wants to develop, wants to get better wants to be a member of a team. So I think uh, you identify the role you need to fill first, you identify the player that might be a good potential fit, you do your homework on the player, and you give every opportunity to the player to, to put him in that position to succeed. But uh, I found that the harder you work, the luckier you get. So I think that our team is going to be a very hardworking team. Uh, like I said, I demand a lot of them in terms of work ethic, but at the same time, we also have uh, we also have some fun doing it. So it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun, but it's going to be a lot of work, and we're going to continue uh, the winning tradition here. Coach, what about Cincinnati? Did you find most appealing? I, I think the 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 opportunity as a whole. I mean, to to be a part of an organization that. Uh, has had success that excites me to be able to try and that's a challenge to you know the, the success this team's had in winning championships and uh, not just on the ice but off the ice I mean they, they're, they're in the community my players are going to be in the community they're going to get involved they're going to be exemplary members of you know what we want this organization to to exhibit so uh, you know it, the people I met with the people I spoke with and you do your homework a little bit and you, and you talk to people and everyone said the same thing good people great organization they give you all the resources you need to succeed and uh, uh, the opportunity in itself it was just as a whole something that I was really really excited about with almost 800 professional hockey games under your your belt um, what are some of your coaching influences any coaches that have kind of helped to shape you as a, a head, new head coach you know I played for a lot of coaches <laughs> through my years as a player but uh, you, you take a lot from coaches that you played for, either for better or for worse. So I'm kind of a, I guess, a mutt in that regard. Uh, I played for a lot of coaches that have been successful. I played for my college coach, uh, Dave Poulin, who I'm still 
uh, very good friends with and lucky to have him as a mentor. Uh, Dallas Eakins, who was just hired in Edmonton, he's a tremendously organized person, smart person. Uh, I played for Bob Hartley, who's won Stanley Cups. A very disciplined, very XO's guy, very high demanding work ethic. Uh, Johnny Anderson in Chicago, who I played for four years with. A little bit uh, a fine balance, a great balance of having fun and, and demanding and uh, you know, a lot of other guys through the years. I mean, I can't sit here and name them all, but you kind of take what you learn. And, and as a player, I, I always kind of prided myself as, as a student of the game. I wasn't just playing hockey to play hockey. I, I would learn. I think as, uh, you know, that's helped me progress as a coach and uh, just going home and thinking about the game, writing drills down that I liked, you know, stuff like that. I, I've, I've been a student of the game for 15 years now, and those little, those little things have been very helpful. And uh, being involved in Chicago last year as well. I mean, to be involved with uh, you know, Joel Quenville, just to be in the room and listen to those decisions that are made or you know, drills discussed or stuff like that. And you know, just I had the opportunity to, go, to have lunch with Scotty Bowman a couple of weeks ago. And that was for a kid coming from Ohio. That was pretty cool. So you know, it, it, I've had a lot of tremendous people that had influence on me uh, throughout the years. And I, I'm very grateful for the opportunities that I've had to meet these people along the way. And that's one of the best things about this business is you get to meet a lot of very, very good people. Tell us a little bit about your coaching philosophy and what kind of, of game Cyclones fans can expect on the ice. Uh, one thing that will be uh, really a, a key attribute that you'll notice right off the bat is we work hard. I mean, every shift, every game, every practice, our players are going to compete and they're going to work hard and there's no excuse for not. I mean, you're, that's their job. The, the fans here are demanding and passionate, which is great, but uh, one, of the, one of the biggest key attributes of our team is, is we're going to be a hard-working team and we're going to be a team that, that can skate. We're going to be a team that is based, uh, based on a lot of hard work and a very good skating team. Any other questions this time? Yeah. Who is your biggest non-coaching influence? The biggest non-coaching influence? Uh, well, there, there's been a lot. I think uh, my parents have, uh, have done a tremendous job raising me and the sacrifices that they've made to get me to where I am and, and my three brothers. So that's uh, probably the biggest influence away from hockey. I'm a mama's boy. <laughs> Anyone else? I'd like to thank you for spending your afternoon with us. Uh, welcome Coach Ben Simon to Cincinnati. Thank you. Thank you.